Hi there, today we will be making Nerf goodie bags. I already have my images uploaded to Design Space, so let's just go ahead and start. We're gonna go to images, and in the search box, we're going to type in Nerf. We are going to click on the images we will be using. After we click on the images, we will insert images. We are going to size them, create a tag, and change some colors. We're just going to go ahead and zoom out the screen. Let's just go ahead and start zoom in out again. And let's just start one by one. Now, the Nerf logo will remain the same. We're just going to go ahead and size it. It will be 4 by 2.8. The Nerf gun will be... 1.4 by 0 0.7 and we lock it this image will be 4 by 2.8 This would be adjusted later on when we add the wording. Now, for the darts, these darts will go on a tag. When I uploaded the image, I did not upload them one by one. I just wanted it to just upload them all together. And then I said to myself, I'll just go ahead and slice them once I going to use them. We're going to insert a shape. You can get a circle. We're going to place it above the image that we will be slicing. Lock it. We're going to highlight the image that we will be slicing. Click on Slice. And we're just going to delete the ones we are not using. We go ahead and insert another shape and we will do the same. Place the shape on the image you want to slice. Oops. Highlight and then slice. And then go ahead and delete what you're not going to use. Okay, let's just set this aside. I'm just going to go ahead and put them all together. Just like that. We're going to highlight it. And we're going to flatten it. And the image for these will be 0 0.6 by 0 0.6. It's hard to see because of this, they're so small. But then I won't be able to see this part right here. Okay, now we're going to hit and add a text. Capital letters. Thank you. And the font will be the AR Julian. Click on system and I'm looking for the AR Julian. It's almost the same 
as this one right here on the logo. Not, it's almost. This has to be in the bottom. And then we go ahead to align it, center it. And we're gonna go ahead and change the color. We click on the black dot, we choose the color. It's similar to that one. Because if you go down here and try to get that same yellow, it's impossible. Um, let me see. See, that's too yellowish. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna use this one. almost now let's go ahead and size it let's leave it a 3.6 by 1.9 then we're going to go ahead and place it here goes just like that and then what we do is Highlight the image, attach, and we're going to flatten it. Okay. Now, we did that. We're going to go ahead and insert a shape, which is a square. We're going to change the color of the square to black. We click on the circle, click on black. Now we're going to size it. We are sizing the tag two by five by three. Now, we're gonna go ahead and place it on the square, we're going to right click and move it to the front. We're going to make it a 2.3 by 0 0.9. Leave it right there. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more. Let me see if I put it to a hundred. Okay. That works. Now, we're going to go ahead and place if that happens, right click, move it to the front. We're gonna put it right here because it's a tag and you're gonna make the hole right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and place it here. Now, the darts, we're gonna go ahead and right click, move it to the front, and we're gonna resize the darts. Let's put them 0.8 by 0 0.8. I'm going to add here a couple of words. Let's go to text and let's say, uh, let's say for coming to my Let me see. It will say thank you for coming to my nerf party. No. Let's say thank you for making. Thank you 
you for making my Nerf party. A blast. For some reason, when I try to center this to align it to the center, it will not place the blast word in the bottom. It will place it next to the A. That's why I'm using the space bar. Looks. Yeah, I'm gonna play with this. Oh, it did. Read it wrong. See, if I align it in the center, it'll take the blast all the way over here. But that's fine, cause we can go just double click, double click, and we just a little bit further back okay come on come back okay there we go for making my nerf party a blast and it'll have an exclamation mark Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and change the color. We're gonna change it to white. And then we will flatten the image. Next, we will size the image, which is 2.3 by 0.9. I'm just going to go ahead and move it on the tag. Once we move it on the tag, we highlight the entire image, we attach it, and then we flatten it. So it can be just one image. Then you look here on your right hand side, it's a print and cut. Okay, now that we already have the images ready, we're gonna go ahead and click on make it. Where it says project copies, I need 30 copies of each. Then we go ahead and apply. We click on continue. Now we're gonna go ahead and send to printer. Once you select the copies, you go ahead and click on print. Once it's printed, you go ahead and select the material size, which will be cardstock. You load your mat. You press the go button, which will be flashing. And I will see you in a few. So now that we have all our images, I already glued the first part to the bag. Then I took the tags and I made holes right in the corner. I made these bows from orange and black ribbon. What we're gonna do is we'll take the tag, we're gonna slip it right through the hole and we're going to attach it to the bag. And then we will add orange tissue paper. Happy crafting!